video. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I had a good one. I went back and saw my family this past weekend, so there's an M's world on that if you haven't seen it yet with tons of yummy food that I kind of wish I was having right now again. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had fun on Thanksgiving, and this video is going to be all about gift ideas. I know I did my big kind of gift guide video with some larger gifts, a lot of high-end items, and so this is going to be my stocking stuffers video, and it doesn't mean you literally have to be stuffing a stocking for somebody to give them these gifts, but they would work great in a stocking or just as maybe like a smaller addition to another gift. A lot of this stuff is inexpensive. Um, most of it is drugstore. I feel like sometimes people get in this mindset of it, it has to be a certain you know, thing packaged like a gift set or something like that to give to someone when really if you can use your own creativity and maybe put together a couple of small things, you've got a really nice well-rounded gift. And in this video, it's things that I truly love. Like not just some cutesy package thing that I thought, oh, that'd make a great gift. Let's show it. No, these are like tried and true things that I like. So I'm excited to show it to you. So let's get started. using ribbons to decorate. You'll notice I've taken most of this stuff and put some kind of cute ribbon around it and um, that's really just to kind of make it look cute or in some cases hold it all together. You don't have to do all that or you could just decorate it with like a Christmas bow but I think there are so many cute ribbons in like the craft sections of different stores and so um, I've just had a lot of this on hand. So what this is is one of my favorite hair items and it's called a turby twist and I don't know if you guys have used these hair towels before but but they are fantastic for like putting on right after you get out of the shower and absorbing a lot of the moisture before you start blow drying and styling and that kind of thing. Or if you're having some kind of like, you know, a spa day with yourself or a friend or something, you can just kind of keep your hair back really nicely with it. So it folds out and it looks like this. And again, you just kind of tip your head over, you wrap it up, and the little end actually sticks through this elastic band. So it's all perfectly out of your face and not heavy or falling off or anything. So love the Turby Twist, but why not give that and give it with something that I use hand in hand with the Turby Twist, which is like a deep conditioner. One that I love is from Neutrogena. It's the Triple Moisture Silk Touch In Silk Touch Leave-In Cream. And so like I'll get out of the shower, you know, towel dry my hair a little bit. Uh, comb through it, put some leave-in conditioner on, and then put it up in the Turby Twist and it really kind of helps to, I think, lock in the product and really help it be more effective. And then you can throw in some of these things that you can find at like the dollar store that you can put in your fridge. It's got like a gel in there. And it's sort of like a soothing eye mask type thing. So if you wake up puffy some morning, you can put that on or if you're just trying to pamper yourself. But you know, that's a nice little bundle you can just roll up and give to someone. excited about this. Okay, this is all from e.l.f. Um, what this is is basically a cream blush, a conditioning lip balm, and an eyeliner. And I got them all separately. I had these on hand and I was thinking how cute it would be if those were stacked like presents and then you just take a ribbon and wrap it around. And it just looks like the cutest little miniature stack of gifts. And I think the cream blush is actually a really good product. It's um, super pigmented and has kind of a unique texture. It's not quite as light as Maybelline Dream Mousse products, for example, but um, it's got a lot of pigmentation and can look really pretty on the cheeks. And so the shade I have in that is, what's it called? It's called Seductress, so that's the one that I've actually tried and enjoy. It's got the conditioning lip balm. That shade is Mellow Melon, and then I put a cream eyeliner on. Not necessarily my favorite cream eyeliner of all time, but it is super creamy. Um, it just takes a little more doing to get like the deepest, darkest line. But overall, I mean, none of these things are bad, and I think that the they're all actually, for the price, quite good. Um, you'll notice the packaging. I know I've reviewed the blushes before, but the packaging is very large. But for this purpose, I think it makes an adorable gift. And I just put a little tape, um, a little scotch tape under each one to hold it all together. But um, yeah, just take a small ribbon and put it around there and it looks like a little package. Yeah. that I personally would love to receive. And it's some false eyelashes, but not only that, 
but the glue to put them on. Like I said, I wanted this stuff to be functional, something that could actually be put to use. I mean, you go giving people false eyelashes. What if they've never worn them before, but they want to try, but then they have to find the glue. This is my all-time favorite glue. I'm not like this about a lot of products, but it's the only glue I use, you know, is Revlon Precision Lash Glue. And then I Lure eyelashes, <clears throat> excuse me, are a favorite kind that I have. Um, I also like Revlon, I like Ardell, I'll use Salon Perfect from Walmart, whichever, but I just kind of tape these together and then put a cute bow around them. And I mean, how fun to find that in a stocking or maybe you um, just had that given in addition to some great palette. I had involves brush cleaner and it's maybe not the first thing that pops into your head when you think oh a Christmas gift brush cleaner but um, this actually could be a really great gift especially if you're giving to multiple people because I way way back I made um, a brush cleanser recipe basically that Encore created. Encore is a makeup artist here on YouTube as well and like back in the day I created this and I put it in little spray bottles like this so I could put the brush, brush cleaner in here, spritz it on like a Kleenex or a paper towel or something, and do like quick little brush cleanings just to get product off of something. And you know, it takes several different ingredients. It's not super pricey to make it. I will post a link so you can see how to make that. But think if you had multiple people to um, give gifts to and you could make it up, and I put like a little label on mine, brush cleaner spray. Um, but you could make quite a few of these little spray bottles, give them to someone, and maybe give them with a couple of your favorite brushes. Two of my favorite eye brushes are actually um, from e.l.f. They're each a dollar. One is the flat eyeshadow brush, and one is the little crease brush that can be kind of a smudger as well. Um, but just, you know, bundle that together. I love the sets from Eco Tools. Um, I actually just recently reviewed the cute little um, four Kabuki brush set, but I don't have the packaging anymore, so I was having a hard time figuring out how to do that in this video. But another great thing that's super cool that anybody can use is this great um, brow grooming set. You get a mirror, you get some scissors, some tweezers, a cute little angled brush a um, like kind of a bare mascara wand type thing that you can brush through with. So it's only $5. I got this thing for $5 from I believe it was Ulta maybe. And you know, again, pop a bow on it. It looks cute and festive. And it's something that anybody can use and probably should use because everybody needs to, to, you know, be doing something with their brows, whether it's just, you know, keeping them looking nice and neat or just brushing them into place. Another couple of really quick ideas if you're going for a high cuteness factor <laughs> with your gifts this is a great little thing this is the fox in a box um, blush from hard candy and it looks like a cute little gift box on its own but look how adorable is it is if you just put a ribbon on it so I'll just show you um, the box and this is this comes in multiple shades and you know you can use that and just use it as a blush or kind of a highlight type thing but they're really really cute and they just strike me as a great little gifty item but if you put the bow on it it's totally a gift this is kind of a high-end item but if you split it up you can make it go a lot of different ways and they are the alpha beta glow pads there went the garbage. <laughs> Alpha Beta Glow Pads from Dr. Dennis Gross. And I've talked about these in a video in the past, um, but what these are are like a um, self-tanning little towel, but it actually has ingredients in there, like anti-aging ingredients. It works so well, gives such a natural yet noticeable tan. Um, so if you think somebody might want to try those, I have a big box of like 50 of them. And so I package like five of these together and you know, that that can be tossed in someone's stocking. Another great thing to do is maybe just put together a nice little duo of nail polish and a great top coat. One of my favorite top coats that I feel like helps my polish last longer, gets hard as a rock very quickly and is super shiny is the Sally Hansen Mega Shine. And then maybe give that with one of your personal favorite nail polishes. So I love the I, great red is the China Glaze Salsa. So I mean, it's kind of nice for the holidays to have a great red nail polish as well. And a final idea, something I'm really 
kind of proud of <laughs> that I thought of this and I think this would be fun again if you've got groups of people to give with a group of friends These cute little bags I this one actually was a gift to me from someone so I'm thinking maybe you could find these in sort of a gift supply type area of a store um, but what I've done here is put in a bunch of different little makeup tools that you could buy in bigger chunks and then you could split them up and give these to each person on your list but I've got like some double ended q-tips I've got some little sponge tip applicators these are some individual mascara wands and some little lip brushes and you can find all that kind of stuff at like Sally Beauty Supply or just you know check the cosmetics section of whatever store you're in but what a fun little accessory to throw in if you're already giving somebody a makeup type gift and just add that to it. So that wraps up my stocking stuffer video guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I've spent several days kind of planning this and having fun with it and trying to put some together some creative ideas for you. I still have my drugstore makeup gift bag video coming so keep an eye out for that because that's going to be kind of a nice compilation um, makeup gift bag for someone that you can really customize to your price range. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.